laziness, procrastination, the fact that I'm doing this commentary while basically lying upside down because I'm too lazy and I'm procrastinating too much to actually get up. It's on a very uncomfortable chair as well because I don't lie down on my bed during the day. There's a whole other backstory to that that uh, would be a lot better in your imaginations than it would do if I actually told it to you in reality. And it's a wooden chair. I had to actually buy a cushion for it about a, two months ago or so because it fucking hurt to sit on it for the length of time that I do. Making videos, editing, watching YouTube videos, etc, etc. Buy a nice office chair, ladies and gentlemen. Because if you don't, your ass will hurt. Spoken from experience. But I've been sitting here thinking, like, for ten minutes beforehand, what the fuck do I talk about? Because I need to talk about something. Because I haven't done the Road to Commander recording yet. I just... I've been worrying about some blob shots and damn you! I've been worrying about some personal stuff, and it turns out that the personal stuff isn't only fine, it's non existent. So, you don't have to worry about that at all. I don't have to, and I've. fuck. And if you just don't want to mention that RPG, I do that so much. Their sights have got to be off on that fucking gun. But I discovered that I really am my grandmother's granddaughter. She worries about everything. Every little thing. And the thing that I was worrying about was just so unlikely to happen that it was 99% impossible. And I still worried about it. And then I got proof that it's not a real problem. And then I'm worrying about the proof being wrong. <laughs> I always automatically think of just the worst situation, the worst possible outcome for everything. I play it through in my head, I think about how I would deal with it. Then it turns out that the worst possible outcome was never going to happen. And then I think of another one. Because that's just who I am, I, I'm a worrier. And last stand is annoying. And the fact that I can't throw stuns is also annoying. And this is how old this gameplay is. I believe I put him into second chance, but I didn't get the kill. Or maybe I didn't. It's our 50-50 there, because you never really know. What was I saying? I can't remember. Well, yes, I remember. I might be slightly high. Um, nothing illegal. It's completely legit. I got it from the pharmacy on prescription for back pain. Might be. Might be. Uh, probably the first time any one of you new guys from Mikey's channel has seen me drunk or high. Welcome to what this channel is really like. You should go back and watch uh, my drunk mini-series if you haven't. Big <laughs> fucking hell. I have a threesome with someone during that. <laughs> But yeah, I sat down and I was thinking, what do I have to talk about? Haven't done the Road to Commander. Haven't done my 500 subscriber video because the weather has just cleared up. And literally, we were just too lazy today because it's so nice that we don't want to actually have to do work. Fuck you, you cunt! <sighs> if it's all rainy and horrible, we don't want to go out except when I run around the block like three times for my daily run in the rain, which is lovely. And when it's too sunny, we just want to relax. So basically, you're going to get that. I have promised it. I'm not like pulling out of it because I don't want to do it or I don't want to show my face or anything. I'm going to do it. Because as I said to my boyfriend when he was asked, like, are you sure you want to do it? I said, well, the worst that can happen is that shit goes badly. Then I either, either, bleh, I either forget about it or I just delete it. You know, I promised it to you guys, so I'm going to give it to you. And I've got a special 750 subscriber video planned, which I'm not letting out any details on. It's going to be a surprise. 
but I have got that planned as well because I don't know how quickly I'm going to reach those numbers but I'm very lazy is what the whole video was really about I'm lazy I procrastinate not just with making videos with doing my work module three of my child care course is sitting here is now in my hand there's a bobo doll experiment where <laughs> There's a blow up doll and they filmed different they were adults, um let's start that sentence again. There's a blow up doll and they filmed kids watching the adults do different things to the doll. Now I'm sorry, but that is just a sexual reference waiting to happen. I haven't actually finished reading that bit yet, and of course I know it's not about sex, it's about the guy actually beating up the doll. Which I don't think that's any better to be perfectly honest. I mean impressionable young children you don't want to beat up dolls in front of them they're gonna think that that's acceptable and then when they buy their first blow-up doll instead of having sex with it like any normal rational person would do after they've bought a blow-up doll they're gonna beat it into a bloody pulp then they're gonna get taken to prison they're gonna be put in jail for what you've done to them when they were 10 years old aren't you gonna feel guilty if that's what happens when that happens, it's not an if, it's not a possibility, it is a certainty. This is why video games should be banned. Even though we were talking about a blow up doll um, a little while ago. So that was me, hope you enjoyed this. I believe it was 36 and 8 dual scorpions on firing range. I'll see you next time guys. Peace. <laughs>